light the shit up time since we had an episode of bring your own chair with your man hell on wheels so i'm just gonna kick it with you this morning man talk about a few things um man i find these very good for me just to talk about you know how i feel in my head and what's going on with myself um so really main thing i want to talk about today is why hell on wheels talk so much shit um I, first off, I want to definitely shout out Scarface uh, from Street Beast and Daniel from Heart in the Fight. Those guys are the bravest people in YouTube. Um, they put a camera in front of my face and hold on. Um, so go check out that new content on Heart in the Fight from Hell on Wheels, uh, or excuse me, featuring Hell on Wheels, and uh, check out that latest Street Beast match, Hell on Wheels versus Wheels. Um, they're on the Street Beast channel. Check that out. So why does hell on wheels keep talking to these guys from the West Coast? Um, honestly, because I'm a spoiled brat and I forget that the OG yard is a destination for everybody, right? Um, because like the OG yard literally is in my backyard. It's 10 minutes from my home girl, 15 minutes from me malls. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's in my backyard. Um, so that being said, I forget what type of destination that is. Um, the, also the point to that is... I don't know how to be the spokesperson for this wheelchair boxing stuff, man. I don't know how to do it. Um, you know, Sunshine, Scarface, man, they have just blessed me with like, hey, man, get some guys to come out here and fight you. Um, you know, I mean, fight anybody, whatever, wheelchair boxing mixers, whatever we wanted to do. Um, they, they've not only been supportive, um, giving me the platform to help me back behind the scenes with anything that I needed uh, to accomplish those things. So a uh, big shout out. And again, I'm, I'm spoiled by that. Um, and the yard is a destination. Many people want to come out there and check that out and get that street beach experience. But that being said, um, there's a lot of people that inbox me on a regular basis, you know, that are differently able throughout um, the street beach viewership, right? That, that have caught my content and what have you. And, you know, they want to have that, their shot at some type of adaptive combat sport. Uh, some of these folks haven't hit me up wanting to do a traditional, you know, hell on wheels challenge, uh, MMA fights, etc. And I'm down to do all of this. Unfortunately, right, for, for most people that are differently abled, man, a lot of them are not very financially secure. So it's not easy for them to just pack up and come across the country. Um, so if you can get me out there closer to them, we could help a lot of these things happen for those people. And that's really what it is. And I mean, the other piece is just wanting to bring, you know, wheelchair boxing uh, to every every platform that I can possibly bring it to. Um, you know, it's been viral on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. It's been viral on every platform, but nobody still knows who Hell on Wheels is. Nobody knows what the mission is. It's still just millions of people laughing at me, right? It's still the same clip from Roger. Um, and I want to put some fresh content out there, and I want to get some build up behind some stuff. Um, and, and and that's that that's just a, a huge reason for it. Um, you know, I I I talk smack. Some I'm trying to get something accomplished. I'm trying to get myself out there to these other branches, trying to do some different things. I got nothing but love and respect for those guys out in the West Coast. Speaking of which, that dude uh, Prince KT. Um, again, if you watched previous video we just put out, I, I checked out your fights, bro. If you're wanting to throw hands, um, I'm about it. Um, I know Sunshine had mentioned on the uh, Heart in the Fight that we were on there. You were in the comment section that she can make it happen. So if you bout that, um, Sunshine means that she'll make that happen. That lady is uh, uber supportive of me all the time. Uh, much love and shout out to her. So, like, let's make that happen. Let's set that up. Um, I believe you guys were planning on coming out in July. Um, also in July, I've heard from Dustin, a.k.a. Wheels, um, Jesse, a.k.a. the I Can Man Sparkman, Zach, um, Zach Attack there, that they're looking to come back out of the yard for another wheelchair box and mixer in July as well. So I was going to get with Sunshine after this June event and the fellas got back from their trip to Cali um, to talk about the next wheelchair boxing mixer um, and getting some more people. I know it wasn't the biggest hit last time, but hey, we went from two guys having competed 
to four guys. So we doubled we doubled the roster. Um, and that's just extremely important to me. So if we could do that again, look at that. Now we might have, you know, six, eight cats. Um, for those of you that are able-bodied that might want to fight, Hell on Wheels Challenge, that's what it's there for. Um, I, I'm really willing to fight anybody. I, I do want to try to keep it in my weight class because as we found out, like, Size matters, obviously, why well, there's weight classes, but legitimately, I'll fight anybody. My last opponent, Wheels, you can see he was significantly bigger than me. You know, is what it is. I'm going to take the fight. Um, no doubt there. So, definitely want to want to work on setting that up um, and getting another wheelchair boxing mixer going on. Um, you know, a lot going on, right? Challenge was supposed to be headed out to New York this weekend for the BKFC bare knuckle trial. He hasn't mentioned that on any of the videos. Um, he suffered an injury. He's going to be sitting out for a little while. Um, him and I talked about it, and it's his business to share. So he's going to share it when he wants to share it. And, and I think we both felt like it's best once we have more news to share it. So as soon as like we've gone and seen who we have to see, uh, we're going to share more news on that for you. Um, but look, man, we all deal with injuries in the fight game. Um, anybody that's in Demon Boy's fight camp will tell you I hurt myself in April and still went and fought wheels at, at, at the mixer. Um, you know, I hurt my shoulder way back, right? When I was first training it, because I, my shoulder never been through that type of abuse in boxing. Didn't, didn't never missed any fights, hardly missed any training. And when it healed, I was stronger and I was better, um, because it was my body being able to, uh, take the next step. And, you know, when I went to my doctors about the injury I had in April, um, you know, they were, they were impressed about the injury because with me having cerebral palsy, the how are you able to generate enough force to do that? Um, well, you know, the, the guys on the heart in the fight, they want to talk about, I believe, the actual logistics um, and technique of wheelchair boxing. I got on there and just ran my mouth a lot. So sorry about that, Daniel. Um, but there, there is a whole different technique to generating power. Um, you're right, traditional boxing can generate power from the ground up. It's still similar in the chair, man. I don't give away too much about the chair boxing because, like, I got to fight people. Um, and I don't really know much about it either, right? We just trained what we know at our gym, man. We we, we found a way to make the wheelchair fit into Demon Boys boxing. We train people with head movement with the wheelchair fighting. Uh, we train high guard with it. And, you know, we just use it to just legitimately get out there and work strike stamina and just straight up bang. Like, to be honest with you, you'll, you'll desensitize and deflinch yourself. And when I say flinch, the new guys like this, you know, at every shot, man, two or three rounds of Hell on Wheels, they stopped doing that because there's so many more punches um, that are thrown in those wheelchair boxing rounds. So, you know, for me, I'm hoping once uh, once I heal up, I'm going to be, like, ready to take that, that next step um, in, in the wheelchair boxing game. Um, for sure, you know, on a personal level, man, um, I got my family reunion coming up, um, at the end of the month, man, I've been disconnected from my family for the better part of a decade. Um, I went to the last family reunion with coach Dan, for those of you who don't know, he's married to my cousin. Um, so, so we're, we're technically family. Um, and it was good, right? I saw my uncle for the first time in, in like eight years, I hadn't seen him. And my uncle was instrumental in me wrestling back in the day, right? He taught me a lot about risk control and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, he served our country proudly for many years. Um, well, I saw him for the last time at family reunion after not seeing him for several years. And the first thing he said was, hey, you want me to whoop your ass? When I was 15 years old, I I was on a wrestling team, and I, I thought I could whoop my Uncle Buck's ass. And, uh, yeah, he was maybe 30s, late 30s, early 40s in. And, I mean, he put me in a guillotine choke and made me look like a little biatch. Um, but to, to have seen him the last time in his life at that family reunion, the first thing he said, he's going to fight. And he talked about how he'd seen what Dan and I were doing. Um, man, I know he was proud, right? I know he was proud. Even though I hadn't seen him since I started the fight game, I could tell from the conversation with him that he watched it. Um, and then he watched it so very proudly. And uh, yesterday, I ran into Mom Nelly, brought up all those same feelings. She said, Brandon, family reunion again. Again, I've been estranged from these people. Um, you know, they see what they see on YouTube. Maybe people are concerned in their family. Secrets is going to come out if Hell on Wheels ever gets famous. I don't know. Um, but on, on the level, I has got my mental, like, a little bit weird because it's fight week, right? And I've been dealing with an injury. So anytime you're dealing with an injury and you're going into fight week, it, it, it messes with you between your between your ears a little bit, it does. 
um, because you're doubting yourself. Did I put in enough work? Man, I could have done another set. Uh, is this or this going to hold up? Um, Etc. And then, like, my Aunt Nelly, right, she's like that one person that can, like, trigger all these kind of feelings, right? Um, I always tell people she's uh, the person that keeps me on the right side of God. Um, very religious woman. Very, very God-fearing woman. Um, I admire her for that. Helen Wheels is not that guy, but his Aunt Nelly keeps him on the right side of that for sure. Um, so she always brings up those feelings. So I got, the, I got, I got you know, family feelings and, 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 you know, my body getting where it needs to be. You can see that my body's starting to go through a transition, get very lean. Um, you know, we're working on some, some body fat things and some additional core exercises. Um, challenging I've been doing, we've been doing a lot. Um, and that's not even counting what the guys, even in the Demon Boys, don't see, man. I got a complete gym basically at my house that these guys have set up pull up bars, punching bags, uh, dumbbells. I mean, I got what I need to work out of my house and I work out here daily. Um, just di different things to, to get my body right. And, um, you know, I, I look at that, right. Talking about getting my body right. And it leads me to kind of the next thing. Right. So, so defeating cerebral palsy, right. There's no cure for it. It's a one time brain injury. Uh, it happens at birth. A twin sister died at the birthing process. Or shortly thereafter, man. I wasn't alive. I really don't have the details. Um, so, like, that's unfortunate. But you look at boxing and you look at cerebral palsy, right? And when I've, I've had to go to several doctors in the last couple of months dealing with this little injury. And when I have to explain to them that I have CP, I get a lot of, nah, nah, it's not what you have. Yeah, it is. That's what I have. Um, and I even bring a manila envelope to new doctors that, like, says stuff in the envelope, like my diagnosis, please don't give him opiates, you know what I mean, um, et cetera, that I, you know what I mean, just, just different things that a doctor should know so they don't ask stupid questions, um, because if they're not educated on what I got, I don't really want to see them anyway, um, but there's been a lot of questions like, how are you able to do this, man, and I feel, and this is me, I'm no doctor, Boxing can alleviate a lot of the symptoms, symptoms of things like musculosclerosis, cerebral palsy, spinal bifida. My hand does not curl up anymore, people. My hands go fully straight whenever I want them to. Look at Jesse Sparkman. He could only extend his arm about here when we fought. He fought challenge. He was out here, elbow locked out. Call me a liar. Wait till you see Wheels come back. I bet he's better than ever when he comes back. I bet. Zach, I bet he's better next time. I bet even though it's only been a few months. You, you don't understand. You're reprogramming the brain. Boxing does that. You have to throw that jab 10,000 times. But he'll do it. You know, where it's flick out, flick out there. You know what I mean? You can do it without even thinking. And look, when you have the camera, doesn't even catch him. Um... But that, that, that didn't just, just come naturally, man. Look at the other videos on the channel, man. It's a slow fat kid, bro. Um, and then just look at the, the overall confidence, right? The, you look at who Helen Williams used to be. Ah, little chubby kid, man. I ran retail stores. I was very successful at that. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it always tampered who I actually was. That guy that's all hyped up and jumping around, man, that's part of who I am. It's that goofball side of me, right? And then there's that softy side of me, that humble side of me, man, that, that very few people know. Um, but the people that do know will tell you, man, I'll give you a shirt off my back, and I'm, I'm probably the nicest guy you ever met. And I'd do anything for you if you're one of those few people that I, I feel like is, 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 is family with me um, in this game. Because, you know, I want to... I want to continue to, to grow myself and, and, and grow what I'm trying to do with the sport of wheelchair boxing. I don't do anything without any of those people that support me. Um, cause you look at, listen to my fights, man. Don't even look at, listen to them. Um, listen to that third round, um, of that fight against wheels. Listen to coach Dan, listen to coach Dan at wheel. Look at him go to buy, look at him go by one, boom, boom. I mean, coach is just talking with such pride, right? Eric in the background, where's the hand speed? Where's the hand speed? Y'all, y'all are thinking that he's talking about throwing faster punches. He is. But because we've trained that particular skill set, 
He's also talking about three other things um, that were there in that fight. You listen to Challenge, right? I know you ain't tired. Look, he wasn't saying, like, I'm tired. He was. He said, don't get, he was saying, don't get tired. Don't get me wrong. But also, like, we have a rule about getting tired in your ring. And um, Hell and Wheels ain't never going to get to where those guys have to exercise that rule. Um, so if I even remotely think that they think that's what's going on, I'm going to pick it up just a little bit because um, the, the, the latter is uh, way worse, I can tell you. Um, because I do have such such a great great support staff um, with my people. And I know I just went on like a five-minute rant and went everywhere. That's that good hippie weed, people. It, it does that to you. Um, I really don't know what to tell you. Most of y'all ain't going to watch till the 15-minute mark anyway. Um, but really, I just wanted to rant about that, man. I just want to grow wheelchair boxing. I want there to be a place um, where these kids can come and do their thing. Uh, there should be more for differently abled athletes than just wheelchair basketball, man. Not everybody's in a wheelchair from birth like hell on wheels. Some of these guys lost their ability to walk uh, or what have you. Um, car accidents, military service, etc. Hell on wheels just wants to give them that part back that, that, that I know they miss. That competitive part, that dog in a fight part. Um, I just want to give that back to the people, man. Um, and I, I'm a rolling punching bag for anybody that wants to smoke. Um Street Beefs, HQ.com, hashtag Hell on Wheels Challenge. Get money all the time. Let's go, people.